Hey, uh, hold on one second. Oh, God, he thinks I'm going to feed him. Fuck. Oh, Run, Johnny. No. Okay, here's my problem. Johnny want to eat. And I'm um, trying to feed him every 12 hours, like twice a day, 7 a.m., 7 p.m. It's like 5.30. But he wants to fucking eat. He wants a 10-hour schedule. The problem is then he just keeps cycling back, and it's like 3 in the morning, and he wakes me up because he ate at 5.30. So I'm like strict. But he doesn't give a shit. He's hungry as fuck. So what do I do? I just feed him when he's hungry? I don't know if you want, but he would eat all the time, man. That's not, I mean, maybe not all the time. It seems so arbitrary to not feed him when he's hungry. I'm watching, I got my monitor over here. Check is this is my setup right now. I've got this huge computer screen and this massive computer down here that I need to get repaired. In the meantime, I'm using Amy's laptop. I've got this. It's, it's noon. It's like this energy drink. It's spelled N U U N. I was just out walking around town for like four hours or something. And like, you know, like three and a half hours, maybe. Something like that. Passing these out. Take a look. I printed these up. Oh, I don't know if that's blurry or what. I have some other ones in color, but I was these. Uh, I was putting these on windshields all over town, basically all over my neighborhood. And it's hilly. San Francisco's got some hills. And I was like, fuck! I don't want to do those cars at the top of the hill. Like there was just like there's all these cars and there'd be like three cars up at the top of the hill, but because of my obsessive compulsiveness, I wanted to get every car on the street, so I go all the way up just to get those two cars at the top, and come all the way back down, and you know going down hills is is also intense. I really want to drink this, but the noon is settling. Can you see it's this thing? So they make different kinds of noon. Here I'll show you what I'm talking about. Got it. He does it. He like jumps off. Like he, he, I think it's like he he anticipates. Either he anticipates that I'm gonna feed him, or he, maybe he thinks that if I, if he does that, it's gonna make me more likely to feed him because it definitely makes me think about it. He's fucking hungry. Here's the noon. There's different packaging of them. Um. But some of them have stevia as the sweetener, and some of them have sucr sucralose. So I avoid the ones with sucralose and just have been using these ones with stevia. I think they're a little easier to digest. Stevia, if you don't know, is a plant. It is a naturally sweet plant, and it's a sugar substitute. It's actually, it's kind of weird. It's like bitter. It almost tastes like nutrient sweet. And it kind of takes some getting used to, but if you use it right, it's really delicious, and it's way better for you than sugar, man. Because sugar is a drug. Tell him, Johnny. Tell him that sugar's a drug. Tell him. Shout it out. He was born with cerebellum hypoplasia. I think that's how you say it. It's a... Uh, there was like hydrocephalus. There was like fluid in his in his brain, so it it knocked his balance off. So like, look at him. Sometimes he'll like his head slowly turns to the side, and he'll like he'll like whip it back to center, and then it'll slowly go to the side again, and whip it back to center. And like sometimes his eyes will like keep like. But uh, other than the balance, he's really normal, and he kind of compensates by being super smart. And like perceptive. And he's got really good hearing. Most cats do, I think. Wow. 
the noon was ready. So it's like um, it's an electrolyte tablet for like runners and stuff. Yeah, if you're like a hike, it's pretty good. So I mixed it with a little bit of like organic blueberry juice. This blueberry cranberry stuff that I get from like Medicine Farm. K-N-U-D-S-E-N, I think, Medicine. And uh, mostly it's just a glass of water. And I put a little bit of blueberry juice. And then I put the noon tablet in. And the blueberry juice that sinks to the bottom, because the noon tablet is aspirating or whatever the hell it's doing, it like bubbles all the blueberry juice up, so I don't even have to stir it. I'm all about cutting corners, man. I love multitasking and saving time. Oh, it's kind of obnoxious looking at the computer when I know that the camera is right here. I moved the camera over here. Usually I keep it on top of my computer, but I moved it over here because I got all this, this natural light in from the window. And this is what my background looks like. Alright. Yeah, these giant purple curtains. So I can pull them and darken it. <sighs> Props to my peeps. I did a pretty great interview. Um couple days ago with Tech Lords on Minds, Jean-Francois. I'll put a link to the interview. We did like a half hour talk about Minds and the tech, the technology, and we put up a new channel on Minds. So we tried this on YouTube where we, we made a channel, me and Bill, and we made it public. Basically, we gave everyone the password, and we were like, upload as much as you want. Don't change the password. And then someone took it and changed the password. Someone changed the password. So I'm doing it again. We're doing it on Minds. It's called Minds Video Channel. I'll put a link to that also. So log into that. The password is password. And upload some video. And don't change the password. I know it's like reverse psychology. I, I shouldn't say don't change the password, because what you're hearing is, Change the password. Even it's like, don't. Change the password. Um, use it. Leave the password as password. I want to see how long we can keep it a public channel and keep uploading stuff on it. I think what we could do is like code the ability to make a channel that where you can't change the password. And then that way we can do these public stunts or whatever, make these public channels where it's like they're permanently public. And then I, I thought like, well, then they might get spammed and you want to know who's spamming it, but fuck it, you know, we're just doing it for fun. I just got a comment from um, somebody on YouTube. Hold on. Fuck, I had it up. Sorry. Is a memento for favor. For favor. Oh, John Montan, John Montagno. I know it's not how you say your last name, John. Um. Yeah, I, don't, I learned so much from video, dude. He was saying that he learned more from my videos than from books, and like I get that, dude. I mean, I read a lot too. I read a, a fucking lot. A lot. But watching, you know, watching something in action, it's pretty unstoppable. So I responded to John's comment saying that he should make videos because, like, watching videos, you learn a fuckload. Watching your own videos changes everything. I mean, it changes your perspective on what you are. Acknowledging yourself and stuff, it's probably turns you, makes you more empathic. The more you know yourself, the more you can know other people and understand other people. Whew. Yo, as much as I I love watching myself and listening to myself to a 15 minute video, I just want to fucking relax right now, man, for a second.
and John is so respectful. Here. I like San Francisco. When I was out there, it was like, um, how like a fairy tale. I went up on this street. I live on Cole Street by Haight, um, in Cole Valley. And there's like, I, uh, I went within probably an eight block radius, maybe like seven block radius. And there was, um, there's a street over that way. Uh, and it's like this long hill that goes up and all the houses, it kind of bends a little and all the houses kind of look like fairy tale houses. And they're really tall and this, they were kind of blocking the sun and there were like trees lining the streets and stuff. It's pretty cool. I kind of, I tend to compare it to LA since I spent so much time out there and they're both in California. And the sun's pretty hot. I still, you still get that hot sun, but it's cool, man. It's fucking cool. And the hills are really neat, and it's so clean. It smells so good. I love Los Angeles, but it's fucking dirty as fuck. There are so many cars just pouring carbon into the air, and so much asphalt just hovering off the ground 15 feet. Just, I mean, I, I went to the beach, you know, but like, once they start all electric no emission cars and maybe replace roads with solar like solar roadway panel paneling Los Angeles will become the greatest city in the world until then it's relegated to like number three for me I don't even know what number one or number two would be it's just not number one or number two it's too smelly, man. When I think of it, I think of like a rusted out car ex with exhaust pouring out of the fucking tailpipe. That's what, that's what I think of when I think of that city. I love the entertainment industry for what it is. I love being able to make 20 grand off of a fucking day of work. And there's so many talented actors there that I know. The people there are really cool. For the, I mean, I got a lot of friends down there. Man, that dirt, dirt ass shit. It's hard to... Hard to breathe in after five years. Huh? Well, ultimately, there's really no need to compare San Francisco and Los Angeles, regardless of, of them both being in the same state. They're very different cities. This place is uh, it's pretty neat. The weather's really neat. We're in like this cove, you know, San Francisco's in this kind of this, it's in the bay. So like 10 miles north of here, it's really fucking hot. And 10 miles south of here, it's really fucking hot. 10 miles east of here, it also gets, starts to get really hot. But right here, it's like 60. But the direct sunlight is really hot. So like from 2 p.m. to 4.30, I get the sun just blasting in on me. It goes up like 15 degrees. So that's really cool because you can just go out in the sun and take all the heat. And around this time every day, around 6 o'clock, it starts to cool down. Kudos, man. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Um, I don't really have anything controversial to say, but sign up for mine and type my name in as a referral. Pause the video real fast so you can read that if you didn't already. Um, you know, subscribe to me, Biatch. My channel is Eden Crossland. See you, dog.